Well hey there guys, it's Adam here from adaminsights.com and I've got dust on my Leica M10 sensor and I'm going to use the VSGO full frame sensor cleaning kit to sort it out. Uh, now all cameras, are, or all interchangeable lens cameras are susceptible to dust. Dust is just a fact of life in photography. And well, when I first got the M10 I found there was some dust on uh, the sensor when I first put a lens on there and took a few shots. My rocket blower sorted it out, no issues. Uh, since I've been using uh, the camera now very regularly since October uh, 2018, it's now January 2019, yeah, I've got a bit more dust on the sensor, and there's um, probably a bit on there that's not shifting with the rocket blower. Uh, I saw some uh, dark spots uh, popping up on uh, some of my images, so I took a dust reference image. The easiest way to do that is just put a lens on the camera, set the lens to the maximum uh, aperture, so f16 uh, is normally uh, the one on the lighter lens. Uh, show, slow your shutter speed right down, set the camera to a base ISO, set the lens to infinity, and take a close-up shot of a bright white surface. Easiest uh, way I've found to do that is just make a white uh, file in Photoshop, make it full screen, hold the camera close to the screen, take the shot, and well, this is the result. There's that uh, dirty speck that's uh, been causing me some problems and it's not shifting with a rocket blower, which isn't good. So, I've done my research, I've found that the uh, VSGO full frame sensor kit is a great way to go. I never really liked the visible dust uh, system, I found the uh, shape of the swabs awkward, I found their packaging a pain because you'd often end up inadvertently touching the swab when you were trying to get that plastic sleeve off of it. The VSGO system, as far as I understand, is made in a clean room, and they're vacuum packed uh, swabs as well, which are easy uh, to extract. So, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and clean this now. Uh, the way um, that I'm going to go ahead and do it is I'm going to open up uh, my shutter using the sensor cleaning mode in the M10. I'm going to put a couple of uh, drops of fluid onto uh, the first uh, swab, uh, go uh, wipe the sensor from one side to the next. Then I'm going to uh, go over the sensor again with a completely dry swab. That's the procedure that VSGO reckons is um, uh, the way to go uh, for great results. So again, here is the before image. I'm going to share the after image with you, whether it be good, bad or ugly. Okay. I'm just going to format my card actually because I've already downloaded the dirty image. Oh. So, can we see everything? Yep, we can. Good. So I guess this video will either work out me being really angry with VSGO or me being really happy with VSGO. One of the two. See, that is just... It seems small, but that's a really great way to get swabs out their packaging. I'm really liking that, you know, I think that's just great. It's so much better than the visible dust uh, system that I used a few years ago uh, on a Canon um, because I just found it so awkward and terrible. Alright, so let's get started. Another hot tip uh, for you, when you're doing this, make sure the environment that you're in is clean and make sure you are clean as well. Well, so just make sure the outside of the camera is uh, clean. You don't want to be uh, inadvertently uh, introducing uh, more dirt to the camera. Sensor cleaning. Can we see all of that? Yeah, good. Okay, open the shutter. Uh, let's just take that off.
you know what guys, I was really actually just, wow, holding my breath as I was doing that. But that was really, that was remarkably easy. To explain what happened at the end there, um, when you are finished cleaning, you just turn off the camera and then the camera gives you 10 seconds to get out of there before it will close uh, the shutter on you. So obviously, get out of there, then turn off further camera. Or if you see this red light start flashing, get out of there because the camera's about to uh, close the shutter. All right, so I'm gonna bung a lens back on and take a fresh uh, dust reference image. Well guys, here is the moment of truth. I'm just going to load up the comparison images in Photoshop and I'll share them uh, with you as well. And I guess we'll find out if I'm devastated or if I'm really happy. Okay, so I'm in Photoshop and I've put all of my comparison images on a, um, a bunch of layers on top of each other so that I can compare. I've also uh, tweaked the brightness and contrast around a little bit to really bring out any uh, bits of dust. Uh, for you guys, here is the original. So as we can see, that's got dirt on it. Okay. Here it is after a VSGO clean. That to me seems pretty good. Like I'm really happy with this. You know, I've got to recommend it. VSGO seems to be a good product. Um, it's cleaned my sensor and it's done a good job of it. I couldn't be happier. Um, fair enough, there's a couple of little bits of uh, dirt just floating around, but they're not going to be visible in most images, and if I uh, was to not apply the uh, full-on hardcore brightness and contrast uh, adjustments that I have here, um, and also given that these are an F16 uh, image, which I wouldn't normally be taking, it, it's fine. Um, I'm not going to have any issues with that dark spot in my uh, shots anymore. I'm really flippin' happy. Now, fair enough, you know, um, some people demand perfection. Um, I'm a perfectionist myself, but you're never going to get it 100%. Uh, all I can say is that I think we've achieved a really good result. I'm very happy with this. This is definitely uh, the cleanest that I've ever known this uh, sensor uh, to be. Um, even more so uh, than when it actually came out of uh, the box. So, yeah. Um, I'm a happy chappy. Thanks for SGO. You've made a good product in my view.